Hi, today we start the lecture of the first of six videos regarding the corporate financial analysis of a water company. Keep in mind that this finance course is for non-financial executives who want to understand key financial principles and apply them in a real-world context. This first video focuses on understanding the operating cycle. But at first, a quick reminder over the main financial analysis principle. Performing an effective corporate financial analysis requires to follow a four-stage plan. Wealth creation requires investment that must be financed and be sufficiently profitable. EBITDA, operating cash flow, working capital, capital invested, capital employed, ratios, margin analysis, profitability, day sales outstanding, those tools are quite common in financial analysis. So a toolbox is necessary to conduct a proper financial analysis and we will discuss later those basic tools. Two questions need to be addressed before starting a financial analysis. How well do I understand the business? Do I understand the company's accounting policies? The understanding of a company's operations will help you to perform an effective analysis of its financial statement, as well as to know where to find the relevant information sources. The Board of Directors Annual Report or the company Financial Brochure provide numerous details. An enhanced comprehension of key business indicators, including the market, the products, the business model, along with the commercial and HR resources, is critical. For example, if I perform a financial analysis of a company operating under a concession agreement, I should expect to find in the balance sheet a liability with regards to the grantor's rights and a fixed asset. Since a company has the freedom, the flexibility to choose among several accounting methods, the decision must be known by the financial analyst as it will strongly depend on the option being used, which in turn will differ the financial result and as such, will impact its comparative analysis with other similar companies. Accounting issue in the water sector generally covers grantors' assets, estimated and billed water, and enhancement costs on water network. So companies' financial statement, including notes to the financial statement, and auditor's report, are reliable sources of information. Once those pre preliminary questions have been answered, we can start the financial analysis. And we begin with the operating cycle. In a company, we have three cycles related to the cash inflows and outflows. Those cycles are the operating cycle, the investment cycle, and the financing cycle, each with its own pace. The operating cycle is the average period of time required for a business to make an initial outlay of cash to produce water or provide sewage services, sell them and receive cash from customer in exchange for water and services. Regarding the client and vendor's credit terms and time needed to both manufacture and sell goods, a company's operating cycle's length can substantially vary. While most manufacturers have operations extending over several months, such as the water and sanitation operators, a few industries require much longer processing times. This chart displays the cash inflows and outflows in the operating cycles. So we start with vendors. Vendors or suppliers supply raw materials. 
Raw materials are processed into finished goods. Finished goods are delivered to clients. Clients are billed, they pay their bills, and the company can pay its staff and its vendors. In the water and sanitation business, the total amount of finished goods inventory at year end, in other words, water, is generally low.